Welcome to the show. Um, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, yeah. The lateral um, pull down machine. Yes. Um, can that help perhaps as well? Of course, actually, mm. any, any workout that involves back and your lats mm. will help you achieve a pull up in, a, in the end. Mm. So mm. the more weight you, 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 uh, you add to, to the machine, uh, the closer you, 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 uh, you arrive to your own weight, you mm. will be able to. Of yep. course, much more involved when you do a, 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 a chin up, a chin up actually. Mm. So when you when your hands are in, in, in supinated uh, uh, yep. position, so you say, mm. uh, in this position, so your forearms are, are much more uh, involved in that uh, in that movement, right? Mm. Either when you, when you do a, a pull up, so your forearms are less involved here, and you're you're, you're more focused on your on your back. Mm. When you chin up, you're you're involving your biceps, yes, right, and uh, and your and your lats as well. Mm. Yes. And you see a lot of people doing the the pull out, uh, the, the pull out, and they're pulling the the bar behind the, yeah. behind the neck, right? So the, this is a range of motion that is not quite natural for you because your your shoulders are not uh, are uh, are overextended in the back. And yeah. but most other people like to do it because they feel that the muscles are squeezing together from the back, mm. right? But uh, generally speaking, it's not a really uh, good movement. Thanks a lot for tuning in everybody and uh, see you next week. Bye guys. Bye bye. bye.